Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're not familiar with myself, my name is Danny McGee and I travel the world full time, obviously except for COVID right now, but uh, I travel the world full time creating content for big name brands like United Airlines, Google, Marriott Hotels, Red Bull, and a bunch of others. And this drone right here is quickly replacing all my other drones, the Mavic Air 2. So in this series, I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of different features on the drone and giving you my honest opinion about them. In this video, I'm gonna be testing out the range, which is a huge jump up from previous models with their new OcuSync 2.0 technology. And the range that it says on paper for this drone is 10,000 meters away. DJI drones rarely actually give you the range that they say on paper, um, unless you upgrade the antennas or just have like absolutely perfect conditions but to be honest, <laughs> there's absolutely no reason why you should be flying this thing 10 kilometers away from yourself. So anyways, in this video, I'm going to be hopping up on my roof and just testing it out and seeing what the actual range is you can expect to get in the field. So without further ado, let's do it. Alright guys, so right off the bat, it is a little windy right now. It's not too bad, um, so I think the test will still be pretty valid, but I'm gonna hook this up and launch it. Honestly, the thing that I hate most about this drone is the new controller, and that's just because I can't use my pop socket while I use the controller. My pop socket is like my favorite thing about my phone, and I have to take it off when I use the controller, but I guess that's a small detail. Drone is good to go, and I think I'm going to sit on that side just to get, make sure there's no signal interference with the house. Okay, so I'm in sport mode and I am just zooming over. Okay, so I'm getting a strong wind warning. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so we're just passing 3,000 meters now. Coming around the front face of Garden of the Gods. I'm at 62% battery, so it honestly might ask me to come back soon, but I'm gonna keep pushing it. Okay, just lost connection again. Um, let's see if it returns. Okay, we're good. At 3,600 meters. So it's not that bad, except for a couple of random times where it gets choppy and gets some interference. Um, but it's pretty responsive still. Just passing 4,000 meters now. Okay, we're at 56%, so I'm, I have a feeling it's gonna tell me to return home. Yeah, there's the notification. So yeah, I'm a little sketched out with the battery right now, but this test, we got 42 100 meters, almost 4,300 meters. So I'm gonna return home. Uh, I'm gonna throw in another battery and see if we can get further. Okay, so with this test, I actually had plenty of battery um, when I got back. So on the next one, I'm gonna push it a little bit further um, now, just cause I know that the wind is going in the opposite direction. All right guys, so round two, I'm throwing the drone up. So last time I only got about 12 minutes of flight time and that's mainly because I was just absolutely trucking it in sport mode. Um, so typically you'll see more than that, but for these range tests, you kind of have to just like haul ass. So I am doing the same thing again, so we'll see if it's around then. Okay, so we're getting to 3,000 meters. Haven't had much interruption yet. Okay, just coming up on 4,000 meters. Just gonna keep on going this time a little bit further. Okay, we're getting to 4,500 meters and there's pretty much no um, interference or anything or it's not lagging. But I am getting that return to home thing. I'm gonna try and hit 5,000 and then come right back. Okay, and there, boom, hit 5,000. I am kind of sketched out so I'm gonna come back. But 
that just goes to show how far this drone can go and there's really not that much signal interference at all. So the bottleneck here is definitely just the battery. Um, if we did have unlimited battery, I'm not sure if it could make it all the way to the range. So obviously, unfortunately, the battery was the limiting factor. Um, I'm only getting about 12 minutes of battery, um, just like full sport mode. So who knows, I might be able to make it out to the 10,000 um, if the battery wasn't a limiting factor. But yeah, that's it for the test. I will see you guys on the next video and hopefully I will get my drone back.